Hello and welcome to another video from me, Para, for Armor Universe. And today I'm going to be looking at the Warrior. Now I haven't done any of these Tell Me About videos for a while. I've been busy with other things in the Armor Universe, as it were. So this video I'm just going to give us a little general overview of the Warrior Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Nearly got that wrong then. Um, now there are lots of people on my other videos saying you got this wrong, you got that wrong. I'm getting my information from the British Army website and various other sources. So if there's anything in this video that you think's not right, it's not be a, me being a noob and making this stuff up. It's that the information at the time that I've actually got may be outdated. But you can also leave your comments in the box below and I will take these on board for anything else that I do in the future. In the meantime, let's jump in and have a look at the infantry fighting vehicle and see what we think. The Warrior is driven by a Perkins Rolls-Royce V8 Condor engine through a 4-speed automatic gearbox. It's capable of a road speed of 46 miles an hour or 74 kilometers an hour. The Warrior has the speed and performance to keep up with the Challenger 2 main battle tank over even the most difficult of terrain. The FV510 Warrior Infantry Section Vehicle incorporates several design features in keeping with UK battlefield experience. In particular, there are no firing ports in the hull, in line with British thinking that the role of the armoured personal carrier is to carry troops under protection to the objective and then give firepower support when they are disembarked. This absence of firing ports also allows additional oblique armour to be fitted to the sides of the vehicle, which is invariably applied to warriors involved in active operations. The cage armour used at one stage was replaced in 2007 by RAP2 oblique armour, the basic armour provides all round protection against 14.5mm armour piercing ammunition. The crew of a warrior are the driver, seated in the front of the hull, and the gunner and the commander who is seated in the turret. The embarked infantry section can number up to seven soldiers who are seated facing each other in the rear hull compartment. Passenger access is through a single electric ram powered door at the rear of the hull rather than a drop-down ramp as in the American M133 APC and the M2 Bradley. Warrior section vehicles are able to carry and support seven fully equipped soldiers together with supplies and weapons, including a number of anti-tank weapons for up to a 48-hour battlefield day in nuclear, biological and chemical warfare conditions. The vehicle is fitted with a two-man GKN Sankey turret armed with a non-stabilised L2 1A1 30mm Raden cannon that's capable of destroying most modern APCs at a maximum range of 1500 metres. It's also fitted with an L9 4A1 7.62mm Hughes helicopter coaxial chain gun. It's fitted with two clusters of four defensive grenade launchers, usually used with visual and infrared screening smoke of the IRSS. All Warrior Infantry Section vehicles are now fitted with Bowman radios, which replace the earlier Klansman radios for enhanced communications, command and control. When first introduced, the vehicles were fitted with passive image intensive IA night vision sights. These have been progressively replaced with Thales Optronics Battle Group Thermal Imaging, or BGTI, sights to upgrade night fighting capabilities with up to 8 times magnification. As of 2007, 350 vehicles were fitted with the BGTI. The Warrior has been used on various operations around the world, including Operation Granby, which was in the Gulf War. It was used by the United Nations duties in Bosnia. It was used in Operation Telic in 2003 for the invasion of Iraq, and it was also used on Operation Herrick in Afghanistan. The protection against small arms, missiles, rocket-propelled grenades and anti-tank mines was shown during the UN operations in Bosnia. Two warriors were destroyed during the first Gulf War with nine soldiers killed in a friendly fire incident when an AGM-65 Maverick launched in error by an American A-10 Thunderbolt II. As of 17th of November 2008, 22 soldiers have been killed while travelling in the warrior IFEs in Afghanistan or Iraq. And on 7th of March 2012, six British soldiers were killed in an explosion that hit a warrior IFV in Helmand. Mm -hmm. 
Warrior variants include Artillery Observation Post Vehicles OPVs, Command Post Vehicles CPVs, and a Remy Recovery and Repair Vehicle. All the variants are equipped with a 7.62mm chain gun, and both chain gun and rad and cannon have an anti-helicopter capability. And that brings us to the end of this video on the FV510 Warrior. I hope you found this video interesting as, a, as much as I have creating these videos. It's always good to learn something about the vehicles and weapons that we use in the armor universe. If there's anything in the armor scene that you would like me to look at, weapons, mods, vehicles, aircraft, etc., leave your comments in the box below. And if you'd like to give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I would appreciate it. As I said, I do these for fun, but it's always nice to get a little bit of feedback. And once again, I just want to reiterate that if there's anything that I've got wrong on any of these videos, don't go sending me horrible, nasty PMs telling me to shove the video up my ass and so on and so on. It's not helpful, it's not constructive, and it, it really doesn't entice me to want to stop or to continue. I'll just tell you to go play COD and get fucked. So anyway, I've been Para with 16AA, and today we've been looking at the Warrior. Thanks for watching, I appreciate it, and I shall see you on the battlefield soon. Bye-bye.